Let's do this. Make sure you clip it down. Clip it down good. Thank you. Mm. It's already at 40 seniors gave blood during this school year. The 29 white tassels indicate students who are members of HOSA, an organization for future medical professionals. The red and white cord you see the students wearing represents, represents members of, of FCCLA, Family, Career, Community Leaders of America. The red stands for courage and the white stands for integrity and sincerity. The 20 navy and gold cords you see, re see represents 2018-19 FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America officers. This group of officers has really set the bar high with their leadership skills and hard work. Several students are wearing medallions around their neck to signify they have taken more than four college courses with the University of Tennessee at Martin or have earned a certificate at the Tennessee College of Applied Technology. Ten students are wearing pink cords, which represent completion in the music pro program. I ask that you now rise and remain standing as Mr. Creston Smith leads the Covington High School Band in the playing of Pump and Circumstance. Leading the graduates onto the field is Senior Class President Ja'Kayla Middlebrooks. Ja'Kayla is the daughter of Marquita Simpson and Mariko Middlebrooks. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2019 graduating class of Covington High School.
be seated. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, faculty members, fellow administrators, honored guests, parents and guardians of our graduates, and most importantly, graduates of the class of 2019. This is truly an exciting event, evening. The exhilaration and buzz of the crowd uh, we have all been witnessing as this stadium has filled indicates that excitement. But I'm sure the exuberance that we have just been witnessing pales in comparison to that which your parents and guardians have witnessed at home as this day has unfolded toward this hour. This day marks a milestone on life's journey for everyone here. This is a day for students to revel in past accomplishments while looking with enthusiasm toward the future. And of course, it is a day for parents and guardians, grandparents and family members, faculty and administrators to be proud, very proud of these graduates. Graduates and all guests, I would ask that before we begin this ceremony, we have just a brief moment of silence to reflect on what this special day means to them. And we, as a group, can be brought to order and to a state of decorum and dignity befitting what I am sure will be a meaningful ceremony. Thank you. It is our pleasure at Covenant High School to begin the presentation of our 2019 graduates. Tonight, the welcome address will be given by the senior class president, Takayla Marika Middlebrooks, daughter of Marika Middlebrooks and Marquita Simpson. Would Mr. Middlebrooks and Ms. Simpson please stand for a moment to be recognized. And now, class president, Jaquela Marika Middlebrooks will address the crowd. Chile. All right. Good evening, fellow graduates, friends, family, and respected faculty. I want to thank you all for joining us for the graduation ceremony of Clemson High School's Class of 2019. I am much obliged to give thanks to my family, Principal Mark McClain, and to the Teacher of the Year who has taught me much more than simply English 3 and AP Lit, Miss Rich. I would also like to thank my fellow class officers who went out of their way to make our senior year what it was. Dominique Wakefield, Brittany Adams, and Medea Walker. Lastly, I would like to thank my difficult but truly amazing classmates who believed in me and know that I worked extremely hard to make our final year together extraordinary. Today is an amazing day. Not only will you cross over into adulthood while conquering one of life's many great accomplishments, but you will also get to hear a spectacular speech from me. Today is a day that teachers and parents have been warning us about for years, the day that they will no longer hold our hand. From our first day of high school to sitting in these seats right here, right now, we have gained knowledge and skills to help guide us in a world that will not hold our hand. Whether we would like to admit it or not, Covington High School has made an impact on every one of our lives. Freshman year started our journey, and throughout the years we have become the young people that our parents and teachers dreamed of. I can bet money on a few faculty members that are glad to see us go, but I can also bet that those same people are glad to see this class succeed in life. Throughout all the fussing and lectures, deep down, all our parents and teachers wanted was for us to be someone. Whether you decide to work, go to school, or kick your feet up and travel after this, success in life is all they were pushing us for. Some of us have gotten taller, we have become more independent, and overall we have become some responsible young adults who are prepared to take on this world that will not hold our hand. Although we are sitting here today and very relieved and excited to be doing so, earning this great achievement was not easy. Most of us have made a mistake, maybe failed on one of Mr. Caldwell's exams, lost a tight friendship, or even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Coach K. <laughs> Despite every obstacle we faced at Covington High School, we were able to turn every negative into a positive to create a blessing for us to cross this milestone and bathe in the glory with our class. At this moment, all I can say to you is, we finally made it. 
Judging from our memory video played at Oscar night, we most definitely started at the bottom. But now it looks like the whole team's here. Class of 2019, I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but I know that you will go on to do great things with your lives. I want you all to know that you are loved and appreciated by so many people for the exceptional young person you have become. Every sacrifice of sleep or spending time with friends to get work done is respected and appreciated by so many. Graduation is a reminder of everything you have accomplished and an eye opener for a successful journey ready to take off. May the rest of your years be prosperous. And remember that although you may not have anyone to hold your hand, as you take on new possibilities, you possess every skill possible to be someone in life. Thank you. Thank you for those words, Jaquela, and thank you for the leadership you have shown throughout the year. The 2019 historian is the daughter of Mr. and Miss Terry Bell. Would Mr. and Miss Terry Bell please stand for a moment as their daughter comes to speak. I would like to present the class historian, Ms. Chloe Michelle Price, who has a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 and a 32 on the ACT. Would you please welcome Ms. Chloe Michelle Price. About a month ago, when I sat down to try and write this speech, I had no clue where to begin. How am I supposed to sum up my past four years at Covington High School in just two to four short minutes? But then I remembered a key detail. This speech isn't about my high school experience, it's about all of our high school experiences. So I asked several seniors what their favorite part of high school was, and these were some of the answers. Snack cart, skipping, Miss Jackie, and the dopamine. After all the jokes were over, I finally got some real answers. Some said the Friday night lights, some said baseball season, some said homecoming, some said the freedom, and some just said high school was the best time of their life, plain and simple. However, almost everyone said that their favorite part of high school was the friendships. Someone said, high school helped me find my true self and I love all the friends I made along the way. Someone else said, getting up early and driving to school at the crack of dawn wasn't fun. But once you get in that parking lot and you see all your friends you've grown up with doing the exact same thing, that's hard to forget. And in the words of Lily Yates, High school is special because you're put in a situation with people you'd never encounter on your own and you get to make them your best friends. All the classes, lunch periods, and everything in between were just memories to be made with those people we met and decided to call our friends. <laughs> Lastly, I think of the quote from the office that says, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. I think the class of 2019's good old days were about as good as they can get freshman year all the way until now. I could leave you guys with an inspirational life lesson to take with you, but I don't want to talk about the future. Going forward, I want to, to remind you to live in the moment like we did at CHS and remember where you came from. Because no one knows what the future holds, but you can take these memories we've made and cherish them forever. All the times you skipped a class to go eat lunch, camped out in the HOSA office, went down to the ag shop to eat alligator and go fishing. Do what you feel and make sure you feel everything you do. Take this joy you feel right now, this anxiousness, this feeling that you could do anything and be anything and be a charger while doing it. Once a charger, always a charger. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe, for your words of wisdom to your class. The 2019 salutatorian is the daughter of Jonathan and Angie Nason. Will Mr. and Ms. Nason please stand for a moment as your daughter comes to speak. I would like to present the class salutatorian, Anna, Anna Claire Nason, who has a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 and a 32 on the ACT. Would you please welcome Ms. Anna Claire Nason. Class of 2019, we've come so far, and we finally made it to this memorable night. 
For the last 12 years, we have sat in classrooms, listened to teachers, stared at whiteboards, working up to this moment. We may have heard the high school bell ring for the last time, but we still have a whole life ahead of us. When we leave this ceremony tonight, we will say farewell to our friends, peers, and teachers. And later, some of us will be saying goodbye to our families as we begin our next journey. Leaving everything we've known for the past few years will be intimidating. No longer will we have teachers to guide us and coaches to push us to be our best. We will have to take on these roles ourselves. We will have to make our own decisions and push ourselves to achieve our goals. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Will you have the courage to chase your ambitions or will you let fear stop you from reaching your dreams? People don't take opportunities because they, feel, they fear failure, embarrassment, or even hard work. But none of these anxieties have substance. The fear of failure is probably the greatest problem for most people, but you shouldn't let it keep you from trying. Theodore Roosevelt said, it is hard to fail, but it is worse to have never tried to succeed. Likewise, you should disregard the fear of embarrassment because embarrassment is temporary. Avinash Wandre said, embarrassment lasts a moment, regrets last a lifetime. The fear of hard work too is unnecessary. To quote Thomas Edison, opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Don't throw away opportunities just because you're afraid. Instead of letting fear hold you back, you should have courage. That doesn't mean you won't be afraid. Rather, you will have courage in spite of your fears. Mark Twain said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery over fear, not absence of fear. In addition, courage doesn't have to be a powerful force. According to Mary Ann Radmacher, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes, courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. It also takes courage to get the most out of life. If you want to be a doctor, a teacher, a preacher, a mother, whatever you aspire to be, it takes courage. Oprah Winfrey said, you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. In the midst of my challenging you to defeat your fears and be courageous, it may seem like I'm challenging you to do whatever you want and do it all by yourself. I'm not. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. If we trust in God and surrender our lives to Him, He will guide us. Then, we can take courage, knowing His plans are perfect. In closing, courage is a choice, one that not many people make because fear holds them down. But I challenge you not to quit and not to be paralyzed by fear. Class of 2019, I challenge you to be courageous. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for those words, and I hope uh, we will remember. And now, the senior choir, led by Mr. Stephen St. Clair, We'll provide a selection by Orlando Draper entitled Reflections.
Our valedictorian's address will be delivered tonight by Aubrey Rose Zerhelen, the daughter of Mr. Steve Zerhelen and Miss Kim Golden. Would Mr. Zerhelen and Miss Golden please stand for a moment to be recognized while their daughter, our 2019 valedictorian, comes to the podium. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present Aubrey Rose Zerhelen, valedictorian of her class. Aubrey has a cumulative grade point average of a 4.0 with an ACT score of a 33. I'm proud to present Miss Aubrey Rose Zerhelen. High school, four years, 720 days, 5,040 hours, 302,400 minutes. How did you spend that time? Better yet, what will you remember about the hundreds of thousands of minutes spent in Covington High School? Will you remember walking through the crowded hallways, sitting in math class wishing you were anywhere else, buying snacks off snack cart, talking to your friends in the cafeteria, or cheering on the chargers at pep rallies and games? Every minute spent in this simple brick and mortar structure served as a stepping stone in our path to this moment. Graduation, a celebration, commencement, a beginning, but also a farewell. When you leave here tonight, your mind will be clouded with all the well wishes, goodbyes, tears, laughter, and general celebration. But where do you stand when the pomp and circumstance fades away? As Natalie Babbitt writes in Tuck Everlasting, everything's a wheel, turning and turning, never stopping. The frogs are part of it, and the bugs, and the fish, and the wood thrush too, and people, but never the same ones always coming in new, always growing and changing, and always moving on. At present, we are suspended at the top of this wheel, waiting for the next revolution. This wheel will not stop moving during our lifetime, so it is impossible for us to remain stagnant. Therefore, I would like to encourage each of you to always keep growing. Our time in high school is over, but you can always keep learning. Only through this constant growth can you realize your full potential. Each of us can take advantage of the constant motion of this wheel to propel us into our future and our goals and ambitions. If you unlock the advancement of your total mentality, you can become the best at whatever you do. So write a book, open a business, star in a movie, lead a country, cure cancer, get your dream job, become a role model, live your dream. Become the person the eight-year-old version of yourself always wanted to be. Utilize the propulsion and velocity of the wheel to reach your ascendancy. Never be stagnant and never settle for less than the best. Many times throughout the last four years, the wheel has felt like we're going around and around in circles. But as Herman Hesse says in Siddhartha, we are not going in circles. We are going upwards. The path is a spiral. We have already climbed many steps. If you had asked each of us on the first day of freshman year where we would be on May 20th, 2019, many of us would have been scared and anxious about the future. Yet here we are, ready for college, technical school, the military, or the workforce. Think for a moment about how far you have come in the last four years, or even just this past year. We have overcome trials and tribulations and often felt like quitting, but we have climbed upwards and made it to this moment. We are on the cusp of a new chapter of our lives. Our spiral is ever climbing. It is impossible to turn back now. We must keep climbing as we keep growing and changing. In the near future, we will no longer have our teachers and administration to guide us along. We must begin to climb alone for the first time. We must have the drive to continue to move forward even when the going gets rough. We must never retreat or grow stagnant. Our spiral must keep moving to allow us to succeed. For the past four years, the majority of my essays for English have started out with a Disney movie quote, so I wasn't going to write this speech without including one. As is sung in Circle of Life, it's the circle of life and it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love, till we find our place on the path unwinding in the circle, the circle of life. Here again, we see the idea of the circle moving us towards something. When we receive our diplomas tonight, we are being given the steering wheel to decide where the circle of life takes us next. 
It is true that we will move through both despair and hope in the future, but we will be able to continue moving with the circle thanks to faith and love. Look at the people to your right and to your left and all the people gathered here tonight to watch us graduate. We have so much love and support from the people around us, and that support is what will keep us moving along through life. As you keep growing, changing, moving, and climbing with the wheel, make sure you also keep being a pillar of support for yourself and those around you. We will forever be the Covington High School graduating class of 2019, and we will forever be connected in a circle and a hoop that never ends. Now let's graduate. Thank you, Audrey, for those challenging words. Uh, would the top 10 students for the class of 2019 please come forward? While they're coming, I would like to offer my per personal congratulations to each and one of them for attaining such an outstanding accomplishment during their years with us. As we recognize each top 10 student, will the parents stand while the child comes forward? Number 10, Madison Elena Hedgney. Daughter of Jessica and Hardy, Jessica Hardy and Joseph Hedgney, a GPA of 3.946 and an ACT score of a 29. Number nine, Jalen Lane Falk, daughter of D.D. Trantham and Timothy Falk, a GPA of 3.961 and an ACT score of a 31. Number eight, Brooklyn Elizabeth Gardner daughter of Matthew and Kristen Gardner, a GPA of a 3.981 and an ACT score of a 27. Number seven, Riley Amber Russell, daughter of Dana Reinhardt and Richard Russell, a GPA of a 3.981 and an ACT score of a 27. Number six, Sarah Michelle Lodis, daughter of Craig and Monica Lodis, a GPA of 4.0 and an ACT score of a 23. Number five, Jada McKaylin Matthews, daughter of Clarissa Reed and Ray Matthews, a GPA of a 4.0 and an ACT score of a 25. Number four, Madison Grace Luttrell, daughter of Robert and Tennille Luttrell, a GPA score of a 4.0 and an ACT score of a 26. The historian of the class of 2019, Chloe Michelle Price, daughter of Terry and Molly Bell, a GPA score of a 4.0 and an ACT score of a 32. The salutatorian, uh, Anna Claire Nason, daughter of Jonathan and Angie Nason, a GPA of a 4.0 and an ACT score of a 32. And your 2019 valedictorian, Audrey Rose Zerhelen, daughter of Z, uh, Stephen Zerhelen and Kim Golden, a GPA of a 4.0 and an ACT score of a 33. The class of 2019 has many varied plans after graduation. Some will pursue college, some will go directly to work, some will join the military, and some are still undecided. It is indeed a pleasure to recognize our graduates and their accomplishments tonight. First, we would like to recognize our scholarship recipients. At this time, any senior that is a scholarship recipient, please stand. We are proud of each and every one of our graduates. The 2019 Covington High School graduating class has received scholarships an assets of $4,813,740. Thank you, scholarship recipients. You may be seated. We would also like to recognize graduates who will be entering the military. Please stand and remain standing as I'll call your name. 
Navy, Destiny Ballard. Army, Christopher Bernard. Abraham Conklin. Satrikius Hall. Kendria Hennings. Matthew Johnson. Jaquela Middlebrooks. Marines, Ryan Parrish. Thank you, you may be seated. The faculty and administrations of Covington High School would like to say a heartfelt congratulations, seniors of 2019. As you can see on your program, we are now at the most memorable part of the commencement service. Please note the recognition symbols on your programs for graduates. The students who are eligible to graduate with honors recognitions have completed the State of Tennessee's course requirements for graduation and have met all ACT benchmarks. We also would like to honor those with distinct, uh, distinction recognitions for obtaining 3.0 GPA or above, meeting all ACT benchmarks, and completing one of the following. Participation in at least one of the governor's school, participation in one of, uh, of the state's all state musical organizations, a score of a 31 or higher composite AC, score of an AC, on the ACT, or completion of 12 or more semester hours. Transcripted post-secondary credit. Let us also recognize our National Honor Society members. These students have maintained a 3.3 grade point average and have exhibited leadership ability. We have also added to our list of groups to recognize those students who have been lifeblood donors and have contributed to the scholarships given by lifeblood. These students are wearing a red tassel. With our students graduating with honors, our National Honor Society members, and our lifeblood donors, please stand. Let's give them outstanding students a hand. Thank you. You may be seated. As you can see, we have scholars as well as community service dedicated to making Covington a great place to live and learn. The more we serve the community, the better our community becomes. I am sure that we are all experiencing many mixed emotions, joy, sadness, anxiety, and anticipation to mention only a few. This is the moment that we have all been anxiously anticipating. Everyone graduating tonight deserves recognition and respect. Therefore, please limit your excitement so that each and every graduate's name can be heard as it is called. All family members want to hear the name of their loved one as he or she steps across the stage to receive the diploma. We are privileged to have Dr. John Combs, the Director of Schools for Tipton County, who will present the diplomas to our 2019 graduates. Jaquela Marika Middlebrooks. Aubrey Rose Zerhelen. Anna Claire Nason. Chloe Michelle Price. Madison Grace Luttrell. Jada McKaylin Matthews. Sarah Michelle Lodis. Riley Amber Russell. Brooklyn Elizabeth Gardner. 
Jalen Lane Falk. Madison Elena Hedgney. Rebecca Lynn Abrams. Brittany Janae Adams. Lakaya Dariana Adams. Maya Elise Adams. Naisha Jamiah Adams. Shamaya LaFay Adams. Addison Blake Alderman. Destiny Nicole Ballard. Austin Lee Baskin. Tanner James McLean Bearden. Christopher Lee Bernard. Grant Easton Billings. Antonio Marquez Bland. Elvis Patrick Boyd, Jr. Kamaya Jacay Boykin. Kirby Reese Bradshaw. William Mark Bradshaw III. Abria Jason Brent. Caitlin Nicole Bricko. Ashton Leanne Brown. Kianica Porte Brown. Micaiah Elijah Lee Brown. Jeremy Madden Bryant Jr. Austin Gordon Burgess. Trevon Joseph Burnett. Chelsea Marie Cottle. Kelsey Leanne Cottle. Karina Latavia Chapman. Chelsea Paige Childress. Gage McKeith Cochran. Malik Javon Coffey. Jada Kishe Coleman. Abraham Joshua James Conklin. Aubrey Alexander Cook. Bailey Connor Cook. Lydia Grace Cottenham. Jeffrey Isaac Cross. Keyshawn Quintarian Curry. Kishana Akoi Curry. Joshua Luke Dawson. 
Christian Blaze DeLashman. Donovan Scott Dotson. India Nakia Dowell. Shabria Trene Drain. Stakweva Kanet Dyson. Dylan Allen Elam. Christopher Devante Elkins. Cheyenne Lee Embry. Garrett Wilson Falk. Cornell Deontay Fain. Kylan Jawan Fain. Christopher Michael Pfeiffer. Gracie Lorena Jean Flanagan. Alexandria Lee Fletcher. Janiah Mercedes Foster. Georgia Nielsen Friend. Keyshawn Terrell Gant. Harley Nicole Gentilly. Cal Lee Ginn. Alyssa Dawn Gover. Tyrese Jaquel Granberry. Jordan Shamar Grant. Brantley Gage Griffin. Chandler Reese Griggs. Ladaria Centel Griggs. Kiasia Virginia Hale. Marquise Daquan Hall. Satricius Caviante Hall. Tyler Glenn Harris. Maya Antoinette Hart. John Philip Hartsfield. Mario Philip Hayslet Jr. Tashana Tashe Henderson. Robeson Reeves Hendren. Kenedria Briget Hennings. Kendria Briget Hennings. Ron Travis Nasher Hester. Joshua Lane Higgs.
Tommy Lane Higgs Jr. Alexis Delaney Horton. Andrew Dwayne Hoskins. Adam James Humphrey. Jillian Claire Hunter. Ahmad Deontay Jackson. Cameron Rashad Johnson. Caitlin Brooke Johnson. Matthew Allen Johnson. Audrey Grace Jones. Christopher King Jones. Casey Marie Jones. Kobe Tyler Jones. Ranibria Trenise Jones. Ranibria Trenise Jones. Trabria Monet Jones. Gary Gray Joyner. Jalen Malik Kemp. DeMonte Tariq Kindred. Bobby Joe Lee Jr. Jeremy Sidney Leonard. Cameron Brooke Lessel. Anna Marie Lewis. Sterling Brock Lomax. Sherman Dion Macklin Jr. Weston Cole Martin. Kirsten Julia McCoy. Jamisha Nadon Miller. Charles Zachary Mize. Matara Deshonda Murray. Miosha Taye Nash. Dalton Allen Newman. Robert Adam Noe. <laughs> Dalton James Northcott. Kendall Cameron Owens. Kadarius Devon Page. Ryan Matthew Parrish. Patricia Ruth Patrick. Brittany Nicole Payne. Zakiah Lene Payne.
Summer Chase Pearson. Kara Lachey Pierce. Tadriana Alexis Pierce. Michaela Sylvia Ann Polk. James Andrew Poole. Xavier Jamal Price. <laughs> Fabian Darrell Richards. <laughs> Tucker Nicholas Roach. <laughs> Jonathan Dalton Rose. Michael Huntley Rose. Cade Carter Sampson. Ethan Cole Sanders. Garrett Warren Sanders. Hayden Seth Schultz. Michael Scott Shevlin. Morgan Nicole Simpson. Savannah Lynn Simpson. Corbin Sean Smith. Devante Rodriguez Smith. Tanaya Alexa Smith. Luke Grayson Smith. Madeline Langley Smith. Isaiah Caleb Spittler. James Tyler Stegall. Markeisha DeLois Stevens. Bryson Kishan Stowers. Hope Elizabeth Stringfellow. Rakaya Alexis Tarver. Tatiana Simone Tate. Jennifer Taylor. Michael Chase Trahune. And Toria Colleen Tucker. Joshua Terrell Tyus. Dominique Alexis Wakefield. Medea Johnshell Walker. Daniel Gunner Wallace.
Noah Brady Walls. Christian Michael Walton. Lawson Gerald Walton. Griffin Tyler Warmoth. Rashana Lachey White. Charles Lansford Whitehead. Drake Ansley Whitmer. Imanzi Quadre Wilkes. Artrell Williams Jr. Olivia Grace Wilson. Kylie Sage Woods. Shadesia Monet Yarbrough. Lily Grace Yates. I would like to wish all our Covenant High School baseball team congratulations as they earn their spot to the state tournament. And now, would all the 2019 Covington High School graduates please stand. You may move your tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Covington High School Class of 2019.
Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please give one more round of applause to the class of 2019. Yeah. 